Reykjavik, capital of Iceland, home to 120,000 people, are ready for us too to explore. We just picked up our Reykjavik city cards, that means we'll get free entrance to loads of attractions, free public transport and some discounts on some re really cool restaurants and cafes over the next 72 hours. They're available from any of the tourist information centres here in Reykjavik. They're also available at visitreykjavik.is. I'll leave the link in the description below and they start at around £30 for 24 hours. They're really good uh, value for money, they'll, they'll help save you money whilst you're in Reykjavik and I'm really excited to see how we get to use it. The cards gave us entry into attractions such as the National Museum. As well as discounts to the Northern Lights Visitors Centre in Reykjavik. And, well, um, I kid you not, we are literally about to go to a penis museum. A museum dedicated to male genitalia, seriously. Then we decided to take a break from the museums and the hustle and bustle of the city and took the ferry to Vidi Island. We've come to Vidi Island which is just a little sort of rock just off the coast of Reykjavik. You have to get a ferry to get here but that was included in the cost of our Reykjavik city card. We're going to just have a little look around. We're about to go and see the Imagine Peace Tower which was designed and created by Yoko Ono. The partner of John Lennon and the memorial dedicated to him it's essentially like a beacon which is sort of stands as a symbol for world peace and it shoots a big beam of light into the air on certain dates throughout the year so between the day John Lennon was born and the day he died and then other events such as the winter solstice and New Year's Eve So the reason we've come to Reykjavik is for this one's birthday. Your birthday was actually back in September, but... Uh, better late than never, hey? This was my present to her. If you don't know, this is my girlfriend, Gab. Say hello, hello to the camera. Well, it's my birthday next month, so I can't wait to see what, what I'm going to get present-wise. Yeah. Reykjavik is a unique city, and that's something that extends to its cuisine. I wanted to try some traditional Icelandic food, so we made our first stop at a famous fast food stand. We're going to go and try out some lamb hot dogs now at one of Reykjavik's most popular food spots. It's actually a street vendor, so... Oh, and there's a massive queue as well. So here's our lamb hot dog. Shout out to the Endless Adventurers, one of my favourite travel YouTubers. I'll link them below uh, for the idea. Let's give it a go. It's good. It just tastes like a normal hot dog. Like nothing really special about it. No, it's good. Eating out in Iceland is an expensive game, and we found that out the hard way. See this pizza? It cost in the region of thirty pounds. How not to fill up a drink by my girlfriend. But if you can look past the ridiculous prices, then Reykjavik has some fantastic places to dine. Good eats and good atmosphere. Reykjavik has a good drinking culture and we, of course, sampled it. We found a place called Brugian Brewery and it was happy hour, so it would have been rude not to try it out. Cheers. Refreshing. So 
we're about to try some Icelandic liqueur called the Black Death, and I'm guessing it probably tastes like it too. How was it? Bullshit. One tip we were given on an outing was to visit Cola Ported, which is Reykjavik's indoor market. In addition to a trove of stalls selling everything from records to flags, there was a food market. It's safe to say I left with mixed emotions. I'm not a fan, that's actually... Okay. You like that? I like that. <coughs> Can't need a drink. That is not good. I like that. Rotten shark. Not bored whatsoever. I hate it. The worst thing is, it's still in my mouth. Cheese. Is that cheese? Yeah. Oh my god, give me some cheese. Is cheese on shark, Gab? No, it's not. Yeah, but it is. Cheese on shark? It's always. It is. If I do that, if I do that shark again, <laughs> I will be fuming. So as it turned out, that wasn't rotten shark. It was actually dried shark. Something you can tell I was clearly happy to find out. Of shark. That's a piece of shark, yeah. Look how sharp that is there. That's very really hard. Let, well, I mean, I've had some vile things before. My net nomination. Yeah. Oh, that actually smells like rotten feet. That is the worst smelling thing. Getting the water ready. Ready. That is actually like making my stomach sick. Now, why are they all big pieces? One, two, three. three. Oh, that god. Oh, god, oh. oh yeah. I Oh my god, that's I'm getting a fish bowl. Gab, can it just like the aftertaste is absolutely like revolting. Do not. Yeah. I actually want to be sick. Like that is the worst taste of the day I've ever had in my life. Like that is. Ugh. I never want ever to try rotten shark ever again. That is minging. So as it turns out, we had dried shark first, and then we had to try rotten shark as well. Safe to say, I never want to have either of them ever again in my whole life ever. Never. Literally that bad. The texture was minging. The taste was disgusting and it's even repeating on me so I'm just glad to be shot of it. We're going to go and ha have some nice lamb soup now. The proper Icelandic dish and a much better one too. Got black charcoal pepper with blueberry salt jam. Okay. What is good?